Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 24th of June comes to you from London and lots of targets and lots of red targets telling me that they're downside targets. have got a few green ones. We've got a new one there on uh, US Nat Gas. These are all very short term targets on the one minute chart. Uh, here we're seeing WTI. We've got a new little one minute target to the upside but a lot of downside targets still there and you need to be able to resolve these targets. Uh, MB, uh, TTF's been amazing this morning we've had targets in both directions and we've been getting alerts on that and um, the, uh, really what's interesting is the medium and long-term targets kicking in one new long-term target there that's looking very interesting indeed so we are just seeing um, quite a lot of turmoil in the markets uh, a downside target for copper which is quite interesting on the one percent chart so that's a bit of a worry there copper falling out and we'll take a look at the uh, bigger charts and of course a 90 bar high for German power uh, hitting this 262 level uh, we gave 263 as a target back in May when we we're at 216 so really um, moving there as well so um, just taking a look at the energy mix we'll start with energy first of all Brent crude just sitting on that 110 level uh, we were neutral today because we've got downside and upside targets and we look like we've found a base here on, on Brent crude. So uh, we are actually up now just under 1%. WTI similar levels there and as we mentioned we've got that new upside target just kicking in. And on the 60 minute chart we've got similar targets here. This is my daily medium term, my 60 minute uh, sh short term and above the cloud we're bullish below we're bearish so we're just testing the cloud here now on the daily uh, but of course the trend is still very much up and we've got upside targets on the half percent daily but this one percent is for the short term us nat gas um, just sitting at six dollars uh, 16 having touched six dollars so s pretty much in a short-term bear trend ever since that freeport uh, accident so uh, really quite interesting there uh, and if we look at coal that's falling back as well this morning and we've got emissions uh, just really coming back into this congestion zone 80 is the support level 85 the resistance we're bullish below 80 bullish above 85 we've just got to wait for that to play out the one minute targets are giving us a little bit of a clue there and keep watching those on your um, on your emissions charts MBP we talked about uh, sorry TTF we talked about just really just found that cloud support and looking uh, quite bullish there and really on the verge of coming out of the cloud so gas prices on the increase and of course there's lots of news flow on that this morning and we look at MBP we are actually deteriorating here and we are just seeing another decoupling between TTF and MBP which is quite interesting. German power has given up some of the gains we made yesterday uh, having touched that 261 level uh, and now we're just uh, f uh, falling back but the reality is that trend is very strong indeed and we're seeing that across power markets. We said in our uh, report to clients this morning that uh, Nordic Power would take a breather today. That's down 3%. Has had an amazing run uh, in the last week or so. And if you look at power markets across Europe, these were last night's moves. Um, some very big moves indeed. And we're seeing gas markets, of course. This is model data from OTC Global Holdings. This has now come to standard with your updated professional enterprise systems. And uh, we see here we've got uh, really quite interesting looking at the seasonality charts there um, on uh, gas and uh, that's German gas at NCG looking at Italian gas and again we've got targets there um, and some of the uh, smaller gas hubs in Eastern Europe looking really interesting seeing those um, moves that we've seen of course German power looking very very strong indeed no stopping there UK power uh, pushing higher there this is on the Cal uh, and we're seeing again upside targets there uh, I'm just pushing forward and here we see the seasonality this is what happened a year ago and previous years uh, so best we're flat or, or we're going just trending higher same with French power targets there we can go all the way through the market Spanish power Polish power Spanish power actually looking better than it was uh, breaking to new highs now breaking out of that congestion and lots of upside targets there as well and of course we can go right through the range all the way down to Greek power and again targets there not quite making new highs but really interesting just seeing those uh, European power markets uh, and again that data coming to you 
uh, as standard in your updated systems now with OTC Global Holdings. Um, taking a look now at um, the global macro, dollar still looking strong. Remembering this is my weekly, my daily, and my 60 minute cloud. One and the corresponding point and figure charts, long term, medium term, and short term view of the market. So at a glance, we've got six charts. These are tracker charts. Data coming from Refinitiv Icon could easily be coming from Bloomberg, from Trayport, uh, wherever. And of course, these news uh, items will be coming from those feeds. So if you've got Trayport, you can have all of these uh, news items coming in straight off your Trayport system, off your OTC data with all the charts. And of course, you can then go and open the chart and actually see the, the live picture. So really powerful that your system is effectively generating these technical news alerts for you. Uh, so looking at uh, the euro, we're sitting at 105, looking a little bit better there, still bearish on that uh, medium and long term chart. Sterling sitting at 122.71 against the dollar, just sitting sideways there, but of course still bearish on those long and medium term charts. And against the euro, sterling sitting at 116.38, uh, just again recovered a little bit this week, so uh, looking a bit better there. Bitcoin's back above the $21,000 mark, so that's a little bit of a recovery there, but boy oh boy, it's game over on the long and medium term charts. And we've got some big downside targets, uh, 15,000, 17,000, even 11,000. We've got a little mini upside target so you've got to resolve this long-term medium term and short-term picture and this is the whole point of understanding trends within trends nothing is ever going to be giving targets all in the same direction unless of course you're making new all-time highs or new all-time lows then you will have that scenario but most of the time you've got to resolve the picture looking at the S&P 500 index we're up 1% yesterday looking a little bit better on the short term but again and just bouncing on cloud support here but the price is through and of course we've got these big downside targets to worry about on your tracker charts uh, so again run this on top of your Bloomberg or your icon system for all this data um, and all the price targets the Nasdaq uh, we've got downside targets there and we are just wandering through the cloud on the weekly we've been bearish all year really since we've been below on that daily cloud we've got the futures up this morning up uh, the S&P up 0.6 percent the Nasdaq e-mini up 0.8 percent so it does look like we'll open higher the VIX volatility has fallen back just below the 30 level. So the fear index is just looking not as fearful, but the trend is what we've got to watch here. And that long term trend for a rising VIX is a worry for markets. FTSE future up 1% this morning. Uh, again, uh, below the cloud on that medium term, held up better than most markets in the UK with the oil majors being a big weighting in the uh, index. Looking at the Zetra DAX uh, the cash market, Below the cloud on the weekly there and on the daily and on the 60 minute, bearish, bearish, bearish. Uh, so Germany not performing as well today. There will be reasons behind that. But as charters, we don't really care. The fact is this market is not looking good on all three time frames with downside targets, 15 percent, 20 percent lower. And of course, on the short term, we've got 7 percent lower. So really is not looking good at all. Japan up 1 percent and the Hang Seng was up 2 percent. But again, these are counter trend moves. We've had a really terrible year for the Hang Seng, uh, so you'd be a brave person buying that bottom. Uh, the Indian market uh, is up just under 1%. This is looking a little bit better, but rolling over again, like most markets, bearish below the cloud, downside targets there. The Aussie market has performed better than most markets until this last month. It's really just fallen away in June and has joined the other markets in bearish territory. So not looking great there either. Uh, just looking at some of the other things, wheat is up 0.1%. Uh, we mentioned copper. That is a little bit of a concern as we break down there. And we're just right on the weekly cloud. But that uh, one minute tar that uh, target that was given this morning in the alert has just alerted me to keep an eye on this chart. Not looking so good. Gold sitting at 1825. We did nudge 1820. 1800 is the level that we need to hold on gold, so that's really key. Silver sitting at uh, 2093, uh, so again, not looking great on all the charts there for silver. Uh, and then if we look at US 10 year yields, sitting at 3.08%, just pulling back on growing fears on the economy, but we've still got some very big upside targets there. That's it for today. Have a great weekend. Until Monday, happy charting. See you then.